everyone. Um, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you all of the books that I have recently or well over the last probably two months have thrifted. Uh, so yeah, all of these books are secondhand. I haven't bought any of these new so i've gotten really great deal and i really wanted to share with you guys the books that i've got um i will share the ones that are like more well known first and then the second half is going to be kind of like cheesy 80s like i'm trying to go i'm trying i think some of them are paperback like in the book paperbacks from hell um and even if they're not like they look like that style so i want to get more into reading these like old 70s and 80s horror uh paperback novels like they're just so cheesy and silly and goofy and just fun so yeah, i'm really excited to show you guys what i got so let's just dive right into it um here on top this is probably one of the first books actually that i got like in the last two months because i haven't really been buying too many books until about two months ago so like it just feels good to finally like find uh, some good deals on these books and get them into my hands and love them and hold them you know you know so yeah right here on top is a book that i have already read and i absolutely love i got this for five dollars off of facebook market which is i think that's a pretty good deal right i mean it's like 17 dollars new so yeah. i read this at the beginning of the year and i absolutely loved it i really didn't think i was going to but halfway through I was like oh, I don't know but then it really switched and I just the whole series like I devoured the rest of it in like a day so uh it's basically like enemies to lovers fey magic I believe it's called uh yeah it's it's just fantastic and angsty and holly black is really killing it I just I've loved a lot of her books so this is the first book that I got and I'm so excited to get the rest of them like I want is there a physical copy that you can get of that like little novella that's in between one and two because I listened to the audiobook for that and it's just kind of like um the main character's sister's point of view for stuff that happened and it was great but it's just like a little um short novella I don't know if you can get a physical copy of that but if you can I want that too <laughs> This next book I got at a thrift store. I got it for $1.59, which is awesome because this is like a $25 book. I have started it, but I haven't, I haven't finished it yet, but I am absolutely loving it so far. It's so cute. It's so good. Um, it's funny that it's like targeted, I think, towards like a younger audience or like YA. And I feel like there's some references in there that are more like for an older generation, but like it's it's great it's so cute it's so fun it's funny so it's basically the babysitter's club meets buffy the vampire slayer which is great and i mean i haven't gotten too far in so so in this book uh our main character finds out that she has supernatural powers and then a new girl and her brother move into town and they inherited a house from their deceased parents and it tells her to find the babysitters and our main character is in a babysitter's club with her best friend so then the girl finds her and they kind of find out that they both have powers and they're trying to figure out what it all means and yeah i guess it's just like babysitters have like aligns to each other like a witch coven kind of thing and it's it's really i'm absolutely loving it so far so i can't wait to finish that and see where it goes this was i cannot believe i found this all three oops all three of the i don't even know a darker shade of magic series i guess it's just called for ten dollars all of them all three for ten bucks like and i got these on facebook market so i am so excited they're in like you know pretty much perfect condition and i'm so excited to read these i see these all over like tiktok and youtube and i just they sound so great and i haven't read anything by ve schlob yet so i'm really excited to dive into these i'm actually gonna read hopefully the first one this month just because like you know they're new and i just really want to get into it and kind of get a vibe and i mean 10 bucks for all three of them like you know even if i don't like the first one which i can't see why not it sounds very good it's about um all different it's about london's and they're all in different categories and colors and some londons have magic some londons don't um, there's like a war going on and yeah it's kind of giving me um neil gaiman's 
Neverwhere vibes because that was like underground London and yeah I mean it's and I absolutely love the book that's one of my favorite books by him so yeah I'm really really excited to dive into these. So the next book that I found thrifting was Heartstoppers and this is actually an uncorrected proof and it's not for sale but I don't know <laughs> if that like means that you can't buy it at a thrift store but i did and they sold it and whatever um and it's just like a really cute comic book that again i've seen all over everywhere for years and yeah it's just about uh two boys like one starts to like the other and they kind of become friends and does it become more than friends and yeah i've just heard it's really cute and sweet and uh, i'm really really excited i love like little stories like this like comics and graphic novels and yeah i like i love the artwork it's so it's just so cute looking and i'm really really excited to get going on it and yeah and then to hopefully read like the rest of them like i'm sure i'm gonna like it it's right up my alley and this next book i also got this off of facebook market and i have read this one. Oh my god i keep pulling on my hair i have read this one and i did okay i did really like it um I thought that I was going to give it like a four star, but the more that I kind of thought about it, I was like, you know, a four star doesn't really feel right. But like, I did enjoy it, but, um, the foreshadowing was not great. Like I had it completely figured out by like, I don't know, like the 10th chapter, like, cause I mean, there's, there's a lot of chapters. So I mean, very, very, very early on, I, it was just all given away. I'm like, if this is really how it happens, but I mean, it's still really entertaining to read it you know what i mean like it's not like it doesn't take too much away you know what i mean for me it didn't so i mean it's like a three three and a half star i think i, I think i actually gave it a three and a half star rating just because i did really enjoy it but just yeah the foreshadowing was a little bit too heavy to the point that i just i guessed it very early on so but I would definitely give it a whirl and I actually do want to read the second one I wasn't sure if I did but I've decided that I do because I think there's like two more so like three all together maybe a fourth on the way and the way that it ended like you you want to know what's going to happen next like it just it really left on a cliffhanger and girl almost had to make me want to read the next one so and now for the ones that are known and popular this was my best find I found this also I found this also on Facebook market for 10 freaking dollars I cannot believe it I'm so excited oh, I'm so excited about it guys my first Genji Ito. These books are so expensive and I just, oh, it was upside down. So guys, I'm so excited. I can't believe I found this for $10, 10 freaking dollars. I don't own any other of his books. I've read most of them. I do want to buy Dissolving Classroom. That's pretty cheap. It's only like $14 at my bookstore. And then other than that one, there's only like three that I haven't read by him that I just can't get my hands on. Like, yeah. So, I mean, first of all, I don't have $50 to buy them. So, my library doesn't have them. So, I'm kind of stuck not being able to read them. But hopefully my library will get them one day or I'll be lucky enough to find them for really, really cheap. So, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. And I have already read this, but I want all of his books to own, to have on my bookshelf. I love it. I love it. Okay, so this first pile of paperback books, I think some of them, I know at least one of them for sure is a paperback, paperbacks from hell book. And that one is My Sweet Audrina. I've never read any of her books. I know she's really popular for Flowers in the Attic, but I've seen that movie and it was like horrifying to watch. It's like about child abuse and she just like lets her children basically die in an attic i mean i don't think i don't think all of i don't think all of them die but like she marries a man and then like abandons her kids in an attic and does not look after them and they have to run for themselves and what um, so i'm hoping that this is not part of the flowers in the attic because if it is well, I mean, it was only 50 cents, so, like, I'm not super mad, and it's a paperbacks from Hell book, so, I mean, I would have bought it anyways, even if I thought I wasn't going to read it, just to have it. Yeah, so I am excited to read that if it's not part of the Flowers in the Attic franchise, books, whatever. 
And then these ones, um, all 50 cents. S some of them are 50 cents, a dollar, 75, like no more than a dollar though. Deadly, Deadly Friend, Murder in Amityville, The Swarm, Claw Hammer. Yeah, so they're just all kind of like, I don't really, know, I don't know what they're about or anything. I mean, well, obviously the, the Amityville Horror is about that. Um, the Swarm, I think, is about like killer bees or something like that. So yeah, um, I'm really excited to kind of like look these up and see. And then even if not, like, they look interesting. Like, you know, if you go by the covers and stuff, like they're just going to be cheesy 70s or 80s books and yeah i love it so okay and the next pile of hair that i have is all charmed books i watched this complete series a couple of years ago um and i really really liked it i i think i own only the first season on dvd i found it like really cheap thrifting and i like how like some of them have crew and then some of them have page yeah i i'm really excited about these again i'm not 100 percent sure if i would like read them but i don't know i think they're like a cute option like if i ever feel like i want to i do kind of like collect tv show and um movie tie-in books i don't know like for movies and stuff and shows that i really really like i just think that it's it's really cute and I kind of feel like, why not, you know, like, especially if I find them so cheap, like these were all a dollar and one was 25 cents, I think. So. This was the only one like this that I found, but I do have quite a few of these books. Uh, it's a point horror. I think this one's just like a Scholastics thriller. But, like I collect these and then like the point horror and along with like Goosebumps and anything by R.L. Stein. So this is really cute. Again, I mean, I don't really know what it's about. I just get it because I know that it's, you know, first of all, they're hard to find. Second of all, I know that I'll eventually read it. Like I do, I have a lot of the Fear Street and Goosebumps and I do eventually want to read them. Like they're just really cute, like half hour reads. So yeah, I'm really excited about that to add to my collection. There's a bunch of Christopher Pike books, which I guess, I don't know. Were him and Arl sign very like comparable in the 90s, I think, maybe? I think like some of them are kind of like young adult. I think maybe this one might be an adult. I don't know. But I mean, they were all like 50 cents and 25 cents. So I always wanted to read some Christopher Pike just cause I know that people do compare him to R.L. Stein and the Goosebumps and stuff. So I'm really excited. I've never ever read a Christopher Pike book. So now I have a couple to choose from and I'm really excited about and that. Lastly, I don't know if this is the last book in the Shadow House books but i do already own the first two and i thought they were really really cute um i read them a couple years ago when i was having a really really bad reading slump and i didn't really know what i wanted to read and i wanted to get close to my goodreads goal because i was quite a ways away at the time and i mean these are just like super quick easy like you know and they're very like they're very young the vibes are very very young for these books like definitely younger than YA like more like preteen but I mean it's still really cute I mean anything to do with like spooky and cute I I like it and I think like the covers are really cool like ooh. <laughs> so yeah so that is the last book of this haul I think I did pretty good I don't really have any plans to get any more books like right now or anything but or go thrifting too much more like i really kind of just want to get through some of these books and so yeah that's just a couple of books that i have picked up recently i hope that you guys enjoyed this video and i will see you guys in the next one bye